execrations turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. TNCs turn to ban. Secretions turn to ban. <laughs> TNCs turn to ban. Execrations turn to pick. seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Shadow Demon. TNC's turn to pick. Execrations turn to pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. He got a lot. I think he got a lot that uh, that game, and his impact was actually pretty damn high too. I I, I think it's just a little TNCs turn to a little bit uh, misleading um, in those team fights because they, you weren't always able to follow it up with that Sardar crush. But he's always been hitting those three to four man vax into walls. <laughs> remaining five seconds remaining reserve time Yeah, this, this lane setup is just as potent as the previous one. But the thing is, it's, uh... Like, last last game, they were able to kill Darkseer with just two heroes. But with this kind of setup, it is support Shadow Demon and support Marana. You actually need both heroes this time, instead of only one. And there's not going to be that bodyguard that you would like, potentially, for the mid lane. <clears throat> Oh yeah, definitely. Ten seconds remaining. It just I mean obviously it depends on the melee matchup, but pretty sure Five Cuckoo would always prefer remaining. a 1v1 rather than a 1v2. In the spirit. Execrations turn to pick. <laughs> Ten 
nine seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. An eye on shell. Time. Leagues assassin. Well, so far so good. I really like this draft coming out of TNC. Nyx Assassin. This is a very good hero against both of these, though. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds. I think remaining. the biggest issue that Nyx Assassin has is that he has to have a very, very good early game, Reserve and his. Time. Like, the first thing is his laning isn't exactly strong. He's not exactly the best laner in terms of farming and harassing people out. His regen is really high, so that allows him to stay in lane for a lot longer than others can. But he's not going to really get much farm, and he doesn't have any farming tools really apart from Impale, and it's not exactly the greatest. I think after Execution seeing this Ember pick, I think you pick. just go mid Marana. Especially after the Ogres picked up as well, at least you can kind of survive in the middle lane. And I'm not sure. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. If you actually can't leap, I think you still could put her there, but it's entirely up to them. It really depends on what they feel like playing here, because Ember Spirit has a lot of counters. You could potentially pick up one of them just to outlane him, even against the Ogre Magi. For example, I think Queen of Pain is not bad. If they want to go Shadow Fiend again, it's actually not bad either. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds Omni remaining. Knight. TNC's turn to ban. Ooh, Omni Knight. Okay, I feel like at this point... To you. This is such a strange draft. I guess you do put the Marana mid and then... Maybe you safe lane OD. It might work. Oh. Execrations well, too late anyways, to it's banned. Well, because well, because you 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 have an Omni Knight. It's gonna be a core Omni Knight, and your most powerful Ten or potential. Uh, it could Five be. I, I don't really remaining. like it though. Execrations turn to pick. Okay. TNC's so, turn to pick. I guess you're. It should be Cormorana. Then. Yeah. I think it should be Carry Marana and then. I'll play Nyx. Support Shadow Demon and Omni Knight. Probably the best way to go. Actually, you know what they could do? Alternatively, they could aggro tri-lane with Shadow Demon, Marana, and Nyx, and then you 1v1 the Darkseer with Omni Knight. I think that's actually not bad either. I I think that lane is really awful. I think you get to, I think you just get absolutely demolished as Nyx Assassin. There's really not much you can do. Unless there's some next level strategy with mana burn that you can do to burn all his mana before he could remaining. actually get iron shells going. Five seconds remaining. Question to do it, but see. Prepare for And battle. it's gonna be support Omni Knight. Yep. DJ is on that Nyx Assassin. Gabby is gonna be playing the mid lane or safe lane Marana. 
Oh, they're gonna run each, each other. Dims is through the trees. He's gonna break the smoke of Gabby. And... Oh, they do see Tim, so they're gonna have to expect wards being placed here. Yeah, they also guessed uh, the, the enemy ward over here, which they did guess correctly. Lin So has reconnected to the game. Oh! Off, off the mark! Rip. 30 seconds to battle. That was actually really unfortunate. And th this one's also off the mark. <laughs> All right, both teams, zero for one on the wards. I think they were expecting an observer ward, not a blocking ward. And the observer wards is placed way farther to the right. I mean, that sentry checks with blocking wards, right? The battle begins. Like this sentry? Mm, it's like the greediest sentry <laughs> you could ask for. They check the most. <laughs> yeah. Gets the least, I guess. All right, so this mid matchup, we got Nando on the Shadow Fiend versus uh, versus Cuckoo. I think this is a matchup where I don't think Nando particularly need too much help. In fact, it's going to be Rior that has to help out Cuckoo a little bit. Yeah, Shadow Fiend definitely a stronger matchup. Oh, Ogre doing what Ogre does best, but. Seems like Omni Knight is gonna stick around here a little bit here as well. It's gonna give him some uh, some hammer treatment. Look at him. Oh. Yeah, you, you definitely want this for your Shadow Fiend because if you get enough enough soul on your Shadow Fiend, there's actually it's actually impossible to lane. Yeah. I don't actually know how mid players handle this lane, like from the Ember side. Classic double south. He might just bring out a second south and then double shrine, use both yeah. of them. And then somehow just gets like a kill when they're ganking him, and then he's like, okay, yeah, I'm cool now. Oh, bottom side, they, they're going for the, the traditional laning here. The row in against Marana. Marana in a lot of trouble. That disruption doesn't does have not lead. go on Marana. Marana's gonna be dead as a result. Not sure about the, that disruption at all. I think he made the right choice, uh, not disrupting the Marana. Because Marana doesn't have leap anyway, there's no real way you can get out. I mean, there's a tower shooting at them. What does disrupting Sam H do? I think he needed to disrupt the Earth Spirit, not Sam H. Okay, that's, that's probably the he, best one. Because yeah, yeah. he, he was the one with the Ion Shell. Right, right, right. Okay, long arrow. Welcome to arrow. Okay, so catcher on top. I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough. He does have surge, but looks like the right click. Oh, he want to hug the trees, but the trees rejected him. That was a very nicely timed arrow. It's not one of the easier ones to time because he got like a five second duration on it. So he shot that out from pretty much max distance almost. And I hope uh, 55 is gonna level up Soul Catcher because I think that is gonna set up a ton of kills. Like not just now, but later on for DJ as well. Every point of Soul Catcher is gonna make him much more effective. Him yeah, walking in the Iron Shell. Oh, disruption Soul Catcher. Hit him. He just walks away. It's actually leveled up on uh, his illusions. That's interesting. Cuckoo in the mid lane. I mean, look at him. He's just getting chunked on. Oh, oh, oh. Is here. And Nando's already up to 19 souls, so this lane is it's pretty done. much unwinnable. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much unwinnable. Disruption, which is perfectly fine too. I think either one is actually okay. He should just go for the yeah max disruption, max soul catcher build. Just don't go for point. Oh, nice body block, but that's not so bad either, because that had so catcher on Sam H, and he just dies. Sam H <laughs> trying to block for his team. But, uh, yeah. Thanks, yeah, I Very guess. nicely done. They they gave a first blood, but they're making a, a lot happen with this duel lane. Very strong combo. Normally seen as a support, but they play Mirana. Yeah, it's not so bad. They're, I mean, they're nice. against the ropes, right? This is... Slightly new. 
Oh, I remember casting one of the C Nixes, and it was triggering me really hard because he was like level 10 and he still did not get a point to mana burn. I'm not sure if that's DJ or not because right now I'm looking at his build. I think so far it's correct. I, I think you go 2 0 2 in this lane. But I hope he gets mana burn down the road because it's, I think, one of the primary reasons that he's so good in this game. Nando? They get kicked on here. Ben's applying that Orb of Venom. Does have Rowan in 7 seconds, but here comes, uh, here comes the young man. It's gonna scare him away. If he does have an Invis, at least, so he should be somewhat safe in this lane. Is he thinking about going in? Nah. Stone and sword. <laughs> Well, one thing you said earlier is that DJ needs to have a good laning stage. Right now, I'm looking at him. He's got 24 CS against the Lone Druid. He's only one behind the Lone Druid. I'm not sure how that's possible, but would you say this is a good lane for him? Uh, this is a great lane for him. <laughs> He's level 5 in 5 minutes. And to have that much farm, he's an Arcane Boost too. This is a great lane for him. And this is just kind of what happens when... Tim's is forced to... Yeah, you can't commit everyone up here. Even yeah. if they did commit all three of them up here, I don't think you can deal with the Nyx Yeah, I, I think right now in this game, Execration has won every single lane. Oh, that might change a little bit here. DJ is going to get chased on a little bit. Nice group. Okay, the spike was decent, but tower? Tim's not going to focus. And... Alright, good reply here. But I think the this damage... I think the damage has already been done. This Nyx is too big. Or too, too fat, too leveled. Arrow? No, oh, not off, off the mark. Oh, he's about to hit six, and this is the time where you have to be really careful as TNC. You have to start picking up those sentry wards and warding pretty much all the lanes you expect to be in danger. Yeah, because like heroes like Darkseer, Ember Spirit, these are easy kills for Nyx. Although he does have mana burn, so maybe not. I mean, if he goes mid lane, this be easy, like, stun into double raise or something like that. Even for bottom lane. Just the Marana nukes, it should be more than enough to kill off the Darkseer. I will see him, we'll see when he des decides to leave, because... He does have the Arcane Boon at level 6, but some Nexus like that level 7 or 8, in fact, before they start making a move. Well, the thing is, he just TP'd up here, so he might just be waiting for... TBCD. TP, yeah. And then it's like way harder to guess, right? Because he could be in any lane. Well, the fact that he's farming up here is giving some sort of security to TNC. Dyer's Filling blow top safer. Top in top fact, top. it's going to be TNC that's going to be the first one running the gank. But as we talked about it, Nyx ports bottom. I hope TNC oh, has this is the best time. This is the I best time because the smoke's coming in bottom. Oh, Sam Mage gonna eat an impale to the face. Arrow's gonna be there as well. He's gonna go down for sure. The question is, are they gonna lose anybody on the way out? DJ is very low. Easy kill. That's gonna be one. Gabby's very low as well. That's gonna be two. 55 trying to juke. Okay, breaking some angle. Trying to make it out there. No chain, nothing. Remnant, and he makes it out. Okay. But still, that, uh, very, very good reply by TNC. That Sam Mage starts here. The iron the, shell, right? Put that iron shell and yep. Killing you from the grave. <laughs> Radiance top tower is under attack. Healing and harm. Radiance. Oh, this Omni Knight needs some levels. Is super starved right now. Uh to be fair, he's like on par with the Ogre Magi. It's not too bad. He's been running around trying to help everyone else. Shadow Team is almost 6. I mean, I always say uh, Omni Knight needs a bit more than Ogre in terms of levels to be effective. I, I, would, I would agree with that. Yeah, so... <laughs> need to get that prioritization. Gabby now at the top lane. I'm gonna go for the very standard Radiant's build. Bottom tower has fallen. Mid lane, Nando going a little bit hard on Cuckoo. Or the other way around, excuse me. And he's chasing oh, is him. Is Cuckoo gonna make this play? Oh, I really wish you... Oh, he only walking. has one. He only has one. He only has one. No, I was hoping he would like triple remnant, but he only has one remnant. I see. Or he could be super next level and just like guess where he walks and just burn him down. Use a scan for it. Yeah. I mean, the scan doesn't really help because you don't really know <laughs> the direction he's walking. 
is under attack. Top lane here, Raven in a lot of trouble. And he doesn't have a single point into Zolt or his uh, Battle Hunter. Or not Battle Hunter, Battle Hunter. 55 though, it's gonna get stuck in the trees of Zolt forward. That's gonna hit all. Oh, oh nice. double nice. stun. Magnetize is gonna be there. Nice backpack here by Sam Mage. Gabby has already leveled. Or, I see, Steel has uh, left available, so they're not gonna chase. <laughs> this is why you don't give him the Darkseer Earth Shaker. I mean, not Earth Shaker, Spirit. <laughs> Kim's is so good on this hero. Yeah. Meanwhile, I think Cuckoo solo killed the Shadow Fiend? Is that what happened? Seems like it. The early start just wasn't enough. Once you get your magic combo up to the stage, your full combo just melts the Shadow Fiend. Even with Strength Treads, I don't think you can survive it. You need to be much further ahead if you're going to try to 1v1 the Shadow or Ember Spirit, I think. Or at least have like creep support, because if the chains land on you, then you're pretty much done. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Yeah, and the thing is, if he jumps on you and you don't have Requiem, you're only going to hit one one raise, and it's not going to lose the flame guard. Is level one Requiem even like good enough? Like it'll burn off his flame guard, but I think Cuckoo's still. Maybe well, I mean, you're not going to get at eight. Sure. Ooh, the roll gets dodged by DJ. Dust though. But the kick is gonna hit damage. He's gonna apply some iron shell, and he knows. Even with iron shell stun, double iron shell is gonna get the kill. Now damage, surging Tim forward. Your 55 has to get a, a disruption. Dang, okay, iron shell can't get reapplied here. They have no available. 55 jukes in his own death. He's gonna pick this one. Cuckoo will do. And TNC looking off, hitting off a oh, beautiful. They're gonna run and find more. Magnetize is available. Double stun. Use it. Nice double silence, Kims, making some plays here. Here comes the Ember Spirit. Okay, nice repel. So that means they will lose the Omni Knight right from the get-go. Nando is going to just raise his way out of here. But Nando, very nice back, but okay, a better stun here by DJ. Helping out his teammate. Nice Shrine coming in as well. The Razor is going to fly out. Yeah, but Raven coming out from nowhere. All right, Viv is actually protecting the over. Oh, that fair recall, though. Okay, I'm not going to hit. And I think the bear will die, but... No, actually, the bear just runs the other He's gonna strike it off. Oh, actually, so this time he does put a blight stone on. Yeah, the but bear no orb of venom. I, I I wonder why he like got gone one over the other. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. It's all attack. preference. This is really small items, anyways. I don't I don't think it really adds up or really amounts to too much. And you spend oh. all this gold on these little items. It's like. It adds up to like seven to eight, 700 gold or something like that. I think one thing that uh, it, it does very, do very well with the Blightstone in this game is that you know Nyx, once he gets to a certain level, he's going to be leaving the lane to gank. And having the Blightstone on your bear too, like Siege Tower, is pretty nice. And look at the top tower, it's not, it's not there anymore. So, again, it's just a small thing, but... We'll add up. Arrow is gonna hit on Sam Age. Oh, they can't, they can't go. Yeah, they can't follow up. In fact, who could thinking about starting the fight here with some Kims running in. Silence gonna hit on two. Nice kick here on the next assassin as well, but also not follow up. Okay, spike, stun. Cuckoo is gonna need some rage, but the back is gonna put everyone back in. They want Cuckoo. They are gonna get Cuckoo, but look at these kicks. Tim is playing Shaolin Soccer over here. Nando's gonna get the repel as well as a good record off. They're gonna kill the Vera as well. TNC going up 55 right now. 55 is walking away from his team. He's gonna get Vera walks around the tree line. Now, nice self disrupt, but I think he's gonna be dead. Nice pull and the root, and they're gonna get the kill. The rest of the They're gonna go for more. Yeah, they're out of mana. I really don't think they can fight this team. It's also out of mana, but still, does still have one roll left. Is he gonna roll? Nick is gonna miss this time around here. Oh, actually, it's yeah, yeah, And they do just Which take actually it down. might be a kill? No. I have to, yeah, they have no more mana. Dude, how many people the Tim disabled in that bottom lane? Oh my god. It was just like... It was like global silences and ravages, like, this is what he was casting. Actually crazy. I mean, while it was nice and all, he... He burned that combo, Execration just turned around DJ with a really, really good setup on, uh, on Cuckoo, and because Earth, Earth Spirit blew his combo, there just was no way to save Cuckoo afterwards. I mean, I, I think as soon as he got hit by a, like a 5 second arrow, he's probably dead. Um, the, the setup on the vacuum though is pretty nice.
Unfortunately, unlike a slaughter, you don't, you don't have a really great stun to follow up. And also, with Cuckoo being stunned up, they don't have that much damage output. But uh, I think soon that's going to change because Cuckoo is uh, about to finish his BLT and he could be much more mobile in these fights. Oh, he's just walking around. I don't know why he's not farming. Alright, in this rune on Tim, this could be big. He only's got two boulders, so I, I don't know how much they could you could do with this. Dyer's top tower is under attack. <clears throat> Although I've seen some Earth Spirit like go off full combo with just two boulders, so. There we go, Gabby gonna get silenced. Where's the kick? It's gonna be here at two boulder. It's just enough. No, the disruption's gonna be there at TNC something. A little bit of an offer issue. Nice back combo, and now it's gonna be on the run. Tim's gonna get caught on the way out. This will go down. Yes. The rest of the team on the escape did not take into account of the Shadow Demon being there. <coughs> yeah, this is one of the the strong points about Execration's draft is that it's just... Is under if you... Oh, stun the bear? They're gonna go for the bear. Yeah, easy 300. But their... Their uh, defensive lineup is just something you have to really respect. Yep. If you're gonna make a kill happen, you have to make sure that there's no way they're going to get purified, repelled, or disrupted by the Shadow Demon. Yeah, and then you have so many things to dance around. Like, for example, a single spike carapace in the middle of your team fight could ruin your, your chain stun. So, there's no my Shadow to worry about. I think as, oh. as these uh, ganks come around, they need to start focusing on the Omni Knight or the Shadow Demon. Or both. Dire structures are fortified. Look at DJ. Got that build that you hate so much. Yeah, the, the no mana for build. Okay, stun, silence. But here comes a repel. Alright, there's a root. I mean, now, Rectrum's gonna get used right now. But Nando's still being focused. Guardian Angel, nice vacuum, but. Okay, Kick is gonna still hit on Nando. Nando dropping very low. Here comes the Remnant God. He goes in, he chains one up. DJ in a lot of trouble. Nice, Ooh, that's here by Tim H. Sorry, I call him Tim H, but it's just him. The king is going to get the TP here. Tim's. This team is on his shoulder. He's like Atlas. <laughs> he's like Atlas, and the rest of the team is like the Earth, and he's carrying them hard. My god. You just don't give this guy Ember. Or, rather, Earth. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. should have picked Storm. For all three spirits. The triple, the triple spirit build. I mean, the enemy team could easily counterfeit with the Radiant Spirit Breaker, so I, I don't know. <laughs> you don't want to get out trapped with that hard. Come on. I like that. Well, TNC slowly but surely is winning these fights. And it feels like Execration, they might have a lot of these like uh, defensive measure tools, but these tools don't help them like actually win the team fight. And they're going to just get chased down as soon as like Repel runs out and Disruption is on cooldown. I think a big thing about these drafts really really shows how important it is to just have these team fighting plays in the early game. I think like Mech is just Oh my god, did you see that? Yeah, he I mean he, yo, he knows how to yo. play Spirit. If you want to learn how to play Rick Spirit, take them. I mean, I got pretty hyped because I don't play Earth Spirit, so I could never do that, but I, I guess Earth Spirit player is like, yeah, okay, that's okay. We could do that. Guardian Greaves is now up on Darkseer. Uh-oh, Nando might be in a little bit of trouble. He does have a hurricane bike. Nice spike! Oh, DJ with the face! The master bait of Nando! The jizz all over TNC on the top lane. What? Can they actually make it out? Raven is on incoming. And I was trying to raise, and he might just be dead here. Okay, they have fear. Oh, they have back here. Alright, TNC get a nice reply. He was probably a little too excited over that one. Yeah. With that double kill, and he's probably cleaning himself off. <laughs> Wanted to raise for a couple creeps, but it's like, oh, team's coming. Uh, to be fair, though, the, the Radiant doesn't actually have that many wards on this side of the map, so. Was not watching the minimap, I guess. 
Man, and once again, Raven, like, with these item timings, he's already got his Mjolnir. Yep. Is, is this uh, the, the facto build? This phase? I, I really like this. Mjolnir. I really like this build. Yeah. It ain't bad. The nice thing about the, the lightning shield is you put it on your bear and just march it around. The bear will farm for you. Alright, Cuckoo going for the uh going for the blink. Going for the blink. Yeah, I think this is fine. Yeah, his oh. team just does so much damage right now. You can definitely rely on the spirit or the lone druid to do all the damage. By the way, can you explain this like Nyx Assassin build for me? Because the reason he's taking mana burn right now is because he has to take mana burn. Like I seen him go stats before mana burn. Which is like which is what? I can't really explain it to you. I personally like the value one point at least. Sometimes yep. I might even consider leveling it, depending on how good your start is, because it lowers the cooldown to four seconds. Having a four second mana burn is pretty insane for damage output. Cuckoo gets caught up by DJ. I mean, it's super nice against like Darks here, for example, right? Like his mana pool is just very precious to him. Well, it puts you in a very compromising position to begin with. Nano in the front line, gotta be careful, they can still just right for you. Regeneration. Alright, time to watch the luxury farm. I'm starting, to, I'm starting to think that uh, I shouldn't actually go for the blink dagger now. I think you should go for a little, uh, a little bit more tanky. I feel like he needs a BKB. Like if you get spiked randomly in these fights, you just, you just die. Oh, DJ going for the quick reward. DJ, he's thinking about turning it around. Allies. Another sentry. Moonlight Shadow? If uh, a good arrow hits here, they could maybe do something. Alright, looks like it's a little bit short. Oh, they're thinking about going to the pit. I don't think they really want to fight just yet. Nyx Assassin doesn't exactly have the most mana. Alright, TNC leading the charge. Oh, they're gonna find one silence immediately. This is the one, the one he wants. Yeah, pull it up. More. Amber goes forward here. Nando's gonna pop the TV up. Pulls the Requiem. Now they're gonna focus on Shadow Fiend. And Shadow Fiend forced for self destruction. That means Shadow Fiend has no help. Shadow Fiend has the BKB and he's trying to run with the BKB on the back line. Raven with the right clicks. That's gonna be easy to no Cuckoo. fear. He catches him anyways. Cuckoo jumps in for the final blow. And that is gonna be four for one. EJ survives. That was a blank, but here comes TNC, they can just high ground here, right? You can definitely do a lot of damage here. Or at least force off by that. Morana might have to consider buying back here. Okay. Shadow Demon will use one. Okay, DJ. Nice and pale. And I think TNC also very happy with this exchange. We'll just get back. Double buyback, and they almost take down the tier three as well. This is kinda this just shows how important it is for to not get their let their Omni or their SD get caught out. Yep. As soon as you lose, that happen. As yeah, soon you as you lose one in this draft, like it feels like the rest of the, the team is very weak, right? Like this is the sum is greater than this part kind of draft. Because they, they don't have any any utility item. This is completely on the Omni Knight. If the Omni Knight can't live, there's very little chance of them winning these team fights. Yeah. And he's so poor currently, like he can't like itemize for anything survivability wise. Like he just has to rely on, on positioning. I don't know what he needs to do because in that last engagement, TNC came from a very awkward angle. And this is an easy Roshan. I don't think there's really any way they're gonna be able to stop this. Yeah. Question is, do they give it to Cuckoo or Raven? Looks like they're gonna give it to Raven. I mean, Raven's really the, the one that's dishing out all the damage, right? Cuckoo's more like taking off stragglers. Super annoying. 
I mean, the nice thing about this new build is that even with just these two items, he still does a shitload of damage. Yeah. Especially with that ion shell. Double shield. I mean, you can put all the shells on him. Iron shell, oh, yeah, you can put the, the Mjolnir. Yeah. Get a Lotus Orb soon, then you have everything. Oh, I'm Lincoln. Don't forget Glimmer, man. You got full condom shred protection at its best. You just <laughs> go in. Alright, Lone Tree is gonna take the last turn too. Probably will take the shrines, or are they gonna just call it high ground? Looks like they're gonna just go high ground. Alright, Aegis on Raven. Bear Summon is down for 60, but the bear is really just a glorified beast shield. Someone call feed up for that one, because this ain't great. Alright, they actually purge the bear. They just wanted to force all of Execration back to their tier 3. Oh, Cuckoo. Well, he can't do anything here. There's no follow-up. Okay. Now they're going to go for that, that shrine. DJ is hanging out here, but... Yeah, he's going back. He has to back. There's no one here. Well, I, I kind of agree with you about not thinking that something would be better than a blink build on Cuckoo, but so far it seems like he has not been punished for it. And he's getting closer and closer to level 20, and now he's got a blink on top, so... Execration with their smoke, they have to win this next fight because they are just already too far behind. Alright, good guess on the... On the shrine, arrow's gonna hit. That's a good one here. Savage. Dead. Now Raven gets purged as well. Somebody surge him. Oh wait, there is no surge. Raven gonna be a lot of trouble. Oh, oh he done. Okay, but that's oh, gonna be Tim's. 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 I think it's too much shit again. Go to work. Okay, self defensive disruption coming in. Magnetai still Maybe going to work. They're just causing a ton of damage. So catcher, the spike's gonna get him. Tim's gonna be dead as well. And on the back line, they need to catch a little bit more here. DMZ running for the hills. Oh, EJ going forward, finding Rior, the arrow's not gonna clip, Oh, the arrow's gonna go on the bear. They want the bear, so catcher on the bear, bear is dead, Alfredo down. TNC will retreat. And right, just that was, that, that was just some classic shrine gaming. Oh, they want to catch him out, Cuckoo's back, he's going in. Okay, Cuckoo, find Shadow Demon in the back, EJ though, stuns over in the front line, and now Cuckoo needs to jump back out. Good retreat here by Execration. You know how we said that it's important for TNC to kill the uh to kill the Omni Knight? If if Execration gets the Dark Sir before he pops mech or his combo, that's actually very, very good for Execration as well. And that's kind of what happened in that fight. I mean more importantly was the spawn on top of that shrine. Did you see how low they got thanks to uh Tim's combo and then they popped the shrine and everyone's just full again? Yeah. I, I, I wasn't catching that. I just saw like Rocks flying everywhere with magnetize. And DJ trying to set up a kill on the mid lane. Cuckoo does not farm with Ember Shield on. I, I, I like I like the good adjustment in this game. Well, that's kind of... Oh, they missed the arrow too. Yeah, that's, that's just uh, missing everything there. I think if there's... They, they should just keep trying to fight because they're still in a really strong spot. That was just like the miracle of team fights for Execration. I think if TNC really... if they really wanted to just keep applying pressure, I don't think there's like too much Execration can do about it, especially with Omni's ultimate, ultimate being down. Well, it seems like it's Execration that's actually applying pressure. And they find Cuckoo! This is what happens when you farm with a shield! And that was a gem. Yeah. Ooh, thanks. DJ definitely making this blink payoff. But without Ember, they're still gonna fight. No buyback on Ember either. Nice back block combination on the back line. Raven pops the BKB. Goes straight on to Nando. Good right here from the Fish House. Everyone's dropping really low. Magnetize still going to work here. Gabby, extremely low, gets to leap out. DJ. Covering the retreat for the team. Everyone's super low. Nice two-man silence. The roll not gonna hit here. And Shadow he still has a kick. Okay, kick not gonna hit a Nando Nando on the low ground now. He's gonna make it oh, he's so close. Yep. They lost the Marana. They lost the uh, the Shadow Demon. But that's not really a good sign here for Execration because that, that was, was a four v five. Yeah, that yeah. was a five v four in their favor, and they still lost the team. Like. 
To be fair, that was without the Omni ult, but that just kind of shows you how important it is that Omni has to be able to get get off all of the spells. Yeah. All us. Look at these access fly. Oh my lord. Link and Pale not gonna hit the actual hero. And Raven is manning up in the front line here. Blink. Oh, triple stun. Nice throw, which is a follow-up. Amazing from Cuckoo as well. That is a team wipe. Shadow Demon just respawned and he's like, where's my teams? Nobody disrupt. Everyone's dead. And now the rest of the PNC is looking to take a second rack. And this, this is why you just don't get TMC that hurts you. Somebody please bat that hurts you. Marana, stuck there. Gabby. Gabby, you dead again. And that's probably it. Yeah, good game is yep. called. Yo, Raven, go in. Got him. Oh, dodging. <laughs> <laughs> he dodged a couple of those shots. No, there, there, were, there were too many. So I think this game, even though uh, Execration lost, Execrations turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. TNCs turn to ban. Consecrations turn to ban. <laughs> TNCs turn to ban. Execrations turn to pick. remaining Five. like last last game they were able to kill darkseer with just two heroes but with this kind of setup it is support shadow demon and support marana you actually need both TNC's heroes this time instead of only one and there's not going to be that bodyguard that you would like potentially for the mid lane <clears throat> Oh yeah, definitely. Ten seconds remaining. It just, I mean, obviously it depends on the melee matchup, but I'm pretty sure Five Cuckoo would always remaining. prefer a one v one rather than a one v two. In the spirit. Execrations turn to pick. <laughs> Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. An eye on shell. Needs assassin. Well, so far so good. I really like this draft coming out of TNC. Nick's assassin. This is a very good hero against both of these, though.
He got a lot. I think he got a lot that uh, that game, and his impact was actually pretty damn high too. I I, I think it's just a little TNC's turn to a little bit uh, misleading um, in those team fights because they, you weren't always able to follow it up with that Sardar crush, but he's always been hitting those three to four man vax into walls. Back. Seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Yeah, this, this lane setup is just as potent as the previous one. But the thing is, it's, uh... Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds I think remaining. the biggest issue that Nyx Assassin has is that he has to have a very, very good early game. Reserved and his... Like, the first thing is his laning isn't exactly strong. He's not exactly the best laner in terms of farming and harassing people out. His regen is really high, so that allows him to stay in lane for a lot longer than others can, but he's not going to really get much farm, and he doesn't have any farming tools really apart from Impale, and it's not exactly the greatest. I think after seeing this Ember pick, I think you just go mid Marana. Especially after the Ogre's picked up as well, at least you can kind of survive in the middle lane. And I'm not sure. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Shadow Demon. TNC's turn to pick. Secretions turn to pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. 